Welcome to AATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today I'll be presenting a case of a 76 years old male who presented to ER with complaints of abdominal distension, abdominal pain, fever and jaundice. Mm. On initial 10 second assessment, a patient is conscious oriented obeying commands, primary survey, airway is patent, no gurgling sounds or strider, breathing, air entry was bilaterally equal, no added sounds, saturation was 95% on room air with respiratory rate of 22 per minute. Circulation pulse rate was 109 per minute and BP 130 was 70 millimeters of mercury. Uh, capillary refilling time was 2 seconds. Disability GCS was E4, V5, M6 and pupils equal and reacting to light, uh, moving all four limbs. GRBS was 175. Exposure temperature wise, uh, patient had a temperature of 101.4 degree Fahrenheit and a pain score of uh, 5 out of 10. Mm. Uh, we put a 18 gauge IV cannula and we started on injection PCM 1 gram IV stat. Mm. And adjuncts of primary survey, uh, we had taken an ECG which showed a sinus tachycardioli and uh, VBG showed pH of 7.36 and bicarb of 21. Lactate? Lactate was 1.8. Mm. Uh, and what, what is the importance of lactate in a patient with uh, acute abdominal pain? Uh, we have to uh, check if there is any uh, uh, decrease in organ perfusion. Mm. And uh, further we have to start on uh, fluids and inotrope support if no. it is uh, high. Uh, the uh, bilirubin in VBG was showing as uh, 10.3 and uh, creatinine was uh, 4.11. Uh, coming to secondary survey, uh, we a case of a 76 years old male who came with complaints of abdominal distension and uh, generalized abdominal pain, which was more over the uh, right uh, side, uh, hypochondrium and lumbar region he was showing. And uh, it was acute onset uh, with uh, in mild to moderate intensity and it was aggravated on food intake. It was uh, present since 3 days. It was also associated with high grade fever which was intermittent with chills and uh, he noticed uh, yellowish discoloration of urine and uh, eyes since uh, one day. Mm. And for that he, was, he went to outside hospital and uh, there they evaluated and it showed as hyperbilirubin with transaminitis and they referred here for further management. Mm. <coughs> there was no any other history of vomiting, uh, altered bowel or bladder habits, cough, dysuria, breathlessness, chest pain or any outside food intake. Uh, there he was not allergic to any medications uh, and his uh, past medicines were Lasix, uh, Furosemide 40 mg, uh, Glycerol Trinitrate uh, and uh, Metoprolol uh, 50 mg with Metformin. Mm. Uh, past history was uh, coronary artery disease status for CABG and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Uh, on examination, uh, coming to examination part, uh, patient was conscious oriented, uh, no pallor but ictrus was present and uh, bilateral pitting pedal edema was present. Uh, there is no um, cyanosis clubbing or lymphadenopathy. Uh, coming to systemic examination, uh, abdomen wise, uh, it was... Uh, Any positive findings, sir? Abdomen, abdomen uh, it was uh, generalized uh, tenderness, only non-specific tenderness. Hmm. Any guarding rigidity? No guarding rigidity was there. Uh, it was distended tenderness. with hmm. uh, generalized tenderness. Organomegaly? No organomegaly, no. hmm. palpable. Hmm. Uh, chest was uh, clear uh, with normal vesicular breath sounds, uh, CVS was S1, S2 was normal and CNS wise uh, GCS was 15 out of 15 pupils <coughs> equal reacting to light with no focal neurologic deficits. So here we have a 76 year old male patient who presented with complaints of fever, abdominal and pain and jaundice. jaundice. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, what all are your DDs at this point like medical causes of uh, abdominal pain? Coming to medical causes, uh, we have uh, D, uh, diabetic ketoacidosis, mm. uh, then uh, porphyria can mm. present as medical. Mm. Uh, then uh, we have uh, lead poisoning. Mm. Sickle cell crisis. Sickle cell. These all are uh, medical causes of uh, acute uh, pain abdomen. Mm. And uh, what are the common surgical? Surgical, uh, if coming to right hypochondria, mm. we have uh, acute cholecystitis. Mm. Uh, then uh, coming to epigastrium, acute pancreatitis. Mm. Here we also have acute cholangitis also. Mm. Then uh, coming to uh, RIF, we have mm. the uh, appendicitis. Mm. Uh, then uh, uh, left mm. can be diverticulitis and all. Mm. And uh, depending on male or female patient, further uh, causes can mm. be there. Like, oh, okay. If uh, um, the same patient, uh, here the patient's BP vitals were stable. So BP was If the same patient presented in shock with abdomen pain, what are, uh, will be your official diagnosis? Uh, we have to uh, suspect first uh, uh, aortic dissection mm. or any aneurysm rupture. Good. After that, uh, we will have to, if it is a, a female patient, uh, we have to suspect for ectopic yes. pregnancy. Mm. 
ഓറിൻ ഇനി ഓറിൻ സിസ്റ്റ് റപ്ചർ ദൻ ഈസ് അല്ല ഇഫ് ദ പേഷ്യൻ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻ ഷോക്ക് വി ഷുഡ് സസ്പെക്ട് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് എനി അതർ ഫൈൻഡിങ്സ് വെർ ദർ ബ്ലഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻസ് ബ്ലഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻസ് വി ആർ ഡൺ ടോട്ടൽ കൗണ്ട്സ് സി ബി സി പാനൽ വാസ് ഡൺ ഷോയിങ് എ ടോട്ടൽ കൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ സെവൻ വിത്ത് സി ആർ പി ഓഫ് ത്രീ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈവ് പ്രൊക്കാൽ വാസ് സിക്സ്റ്റി സോ എവിഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ വാസ് ദർ ആൻഡ് വി ആർ ഡൺ എൽ എഫ് ടി വൈസ് ടോട്ടൽ ബിലറുബിൻ വാസ് ടെൻ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ വിത്ത് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ബിലറുബിൻ ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ് സിക്സ് സെവൻ ആൽബമിൻ വാസ് ലോവർ സൈഡ് ടു പോയിന്റ് സെവൻ ഒ ടി പി ടി എലിവേറ്റഡ് ടു ടു സെവൻറ്റി ഒ ടി ആൻഡ് പി ടി വാസ് ടു സെവൻറ്റി നയൻ എൽ പി വാസ് ഓൾസോ റേസ്ഡ് ടു ടു തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ക്രിയാറ്റിൻ ഓൾസോ വാസ് റേസ്ഡ് ഫൈവ് പോയിന്റ് എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ സോ ഇനി ഇഷ്ടം ആൽക്കോൾ 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 ഒക്കേഷണൽ ആൽക്കോൾ ഇൻടേക്ക് ആൻഡ് യു എസ് ടി വാസ് ഷോയി യു എസ് ടി വിഡ് ഷോഡ് ഡയലറ്റഡ് സി ബി ഡി വിത്ത് കാൽക്കുലസ് ഇൻ സി ബി ഡി ആൻഡ് കോളിൽ ഇത്യാസസ് ഓൾസോ Uh, there are also multiple uh, hypercal liver lesions also mm-hmm. they had said mm-hmm. uh, then uh, now uh, like provisional so di- provisional diagnosis provisional diagnosis uh, since their patient present is fever abdominal pain mm-hmm. and uh, the labs are also uh, su- su- supporting the infection parameters are raised mm-hmm. and also the lft wise uh, the hyperbilirubinemia is there uh, mm-hmm. mixed picture with tar- total uh, bilirubin 10.3 direct 5.6 so mm-hmm. uh, mixed is there mm-hmm. both direct and indirect are raised and also uh, the alp is raised uh, to 238 so maybe a obstructive jaundice mm. we have to suspect also mm. obstructive jaundice uh, under evaluation in the presence of fever we have to mm. uh, first what is, what is charcot stride charcot stride is the, the, mm. this presentation which, mm. which is fever with mm. abdominal pain and uh, jaundice fever abdominal pain, pain and, and jaundice pentad pentad findings uh, it will add on with uh, shock Uh, mm. as in hypotension mm. with altered mental status it's no. called rainold mm. and so how did you manage this patient uh, uh, then further uh, we had uh, planned since the patient had a dilated cbd obstruction was there obviously mm. and a calculi was there mm. we had a plan for mrcp initially mm. Mm. and mrcp mrcp was done which showed uh, mid cbd uh, calculus of 8 mm with uh, upstream biliary tract dilatation mm. and uh, the cholelithiasis was also there but no features of any cholecystitis mm. and uh, multiple obliterated liver lesions were there uh, with <coughs> right uh, largest was in the right lobe uh, in the caudate region mm. uh, with 1.8 into 1.6 cm so they are so, suspecting uh, a cholangitic uh, abscess okay so what are the um, usual common organisms causing cholangitis cholangitis usually uh, because the connection is from the uh, duodenum Mm. the most common uh, bacterial uh, flora will be causing the uh, mm. in- infection so we have to most commonly suspect uh, gram negative wise e coli mm. Mm. can be there or uh, there can be um, enterobacter so uh, infection can also occur mm. or any uh, other uh, gram positive enterococcus can occur mm. or uh, anaerobic organisms so which antibiotic did you start uh, this patient uh, since a patient uh, had uh, ak mm. also uh, sepsis was there mm. so with organ dysfunction mm. and uh, we had started on uh, meropenem okay okay uh, meropenem 1 gram uh, initially 1 gram stat was given then uh, with the creatinine clearance was 15 ml per mm. minute mm. we made it 500 mg bd mm. and uh, we had also uh, started uh, minimal uh, fluid support also because bp was 137 mm. and uh, uh, further early supportive measures was given mm. and uh, further to uh, do biliary decompression mm. uh, we had uh, further plan for uh, ercp mm. and uh, ercp done showed a uh, distal cbd structure with uh, cholelithiasis ithiasis mm. and uh, they did uh, uh, pancreatic duct stenting okay with a uh, biliary uh, sphincterotomy mm. uh, and cbd clearance okay and also biliary stenting was done mm. uh, what are the complications of will uh, of cholangitis Uh, uh, cholangitis uh, first we will have a, a, a mild cholangitis mm. moderate and severe cholangitis mm. so in mild co- uh, mo- in severe cholangitis we will have all the organ dysfunctions mm. similar to sepsis so we will be having uh, in case of uh, cardiovascular system we will have hypotension cns wise there will be altered mental <coughs> status change mm. uh, then hematologic wise uh, there can be a uh, d- decrease in the uh, pl- uh, platelet uh, less than 1 lakh uh, here platelet was uh, 60000 okay that's okay. okay. the and also uh, there was resp- it can be there can be respiratory dysfunction mm. as in uh, the pao2 by fao2 will be less than 100 mm. 
then there can be renal dysfunction as in uh, by uh, shown by creat greater than 2 mm. or oliguria mm. then hepatic dysfunction by cyanar will be greater than 1.5 mm. uh, then uh, so if this this uh, any of these features are present then we will classify it as severe cholangitis mm. so this patient will be more chance of going into sepsis, sepsis. septic shock modes mm. like that and uh, moderate wise uh, cholangitis will uh, say as total counts greater than 12000 or less than 4000 mm. Uh, fever greater than 102.2, age mm. greater than 75 years. Uh, here, uh, total bilirubin greater than or equal to 5 or hypoalbuminemia. If all of these are not present, mm. then we will classify it as mild cholangitis. Oh, oh. And uh, these patients, are, he has in this case cholangitic abscess mm. patient early. Like that also complications can occur. Mm. So, um, what happened? Uh, what are uh, like what happened to this patient? Uh, father, now patient uh, CRP, now patient is admitted under uh, mm. GA medicine, mm. and uh, CRP is uh, CRP is down trending now. He's uh, symptomatically reduced better. Reduced to one hundred uh. yesterday. Mm. Oh. So and procal also uh, reduced. reduced. Culture wise, uh, no growth was obtained. Okay, okay. So uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, in case of uh, mild uh, cholangitis, uh, we can start with. Uh, uh, small uh, like uh, if it is from a community acquired infection you are suspecting mm -hmm. not a hospital acquired we can start on ceftriaxone cefuroxime mm -hmm. with the metrodendrosol coverage mm -hmm. oh. and uh, if there is a moderate uh, type of infection we can uh, start uh, either on epipracin dasobactam mm -hmm. or we can uh, start on ceftazidum with uh, metronidazole mm -hmm. yes. or cefepime with metronidazole uh, uh, or if we are uh, suspecting severe cholangitis and all better to start with meropenem or uh, piptas. piptas. And uh, hospital acquired infection, you have to anyway start with uh, piperacin tazobactam. Hmm. So, um, as an emergency physician, you should be able to diagnose all acute abdomen cases. Should not miss any cases, and uh, especially those patients presenting with pain abdomen and shock. All differential diagnosis should be in mind. And uh, uh, so, anything else you want to add? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.